Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I did want to show a few updates here on the collection. Um, I also wanted to go through um, and show my Star Wars book collection. So with the new display that I, well, it's the same display, just things moved around. Some things have been moved out um, just because I hate the cluttered look. You know, there's a lot being shown right now. It's a, it looks a little messy, but uh, yes. So I ended up purchasing more of these shelves that I like from Target. Um, and I ended up putting them over the Star Wars statues. I really enjoy how they came out. We have one here at the end that's empty. That's for some potential stuff I plan to put there. Not really sure yet. Um, and then that little four cute organizer right now is empty. And again, that's for something I plan to do. Uh, but yes, let's get back to this. So right now we have the Star Wars lined up here, which I think looks great. Don't you hate it when you set something up and you don't expect for like an inconvenience to happen? Um, but of course, always expect the worst, right? So as I'm putting them up, I realize the shelves I didn't measure and the top of his jetpack was hitting the shelf so I can't put him I wanted to put him there next to Ahsoka um but he had to come here in the end which actually doesn't look so bad um just had to put, I, you know I'm thankful that it fits right there in the middle um so it actually that actually worked out perfectly so sucked in the beginning but it ended up working out but anyway I digress so we actually have Sold Huntress, um, Catwoman, and who else have I sold? And Black Panther. Um, at the moment, I just, you know, they weren't fitting in the collection, like I mentioned before. If the piece isn't something I'm in love with or don't really need right now, I sell it to get something else. Um, so yeah, Huntress is right there, packed up. I still have a few X-Men and other pieces that are packed up right now. I'm waiting to be moved but anyway back to the book collection so normally I have the book collection set up and up or stored away somewhere where you can't see them um, and it sucks because I actually do enjoy enjoy the books um, and I'm actually gonna go through them one by one now so to start here we have some pops just a few of them I'm not really a big pop collector but they help bring out the collection. This Grogu actually. I think that's cute. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move these out of the way and get into the books. All right, so as you can see, the way I have them set up is the High Republic series first. Um, then I go into um, like anything that in, involves the squ squadrons or Rebels, um, and then we get into like Brotherhood storyline, Princess and the Scoundrel, um, Shadow of the Sith, Dark Disciple, it's one of my favorites. Um, then we get into the Thrawn storyline, which is the four books. It's actually not in order right now. I just realized that and that's killing me, but it's all right. Then we get into the like individuals. Um, same thing with down here. And you guys have to let me know if you actually read. I actually have noticed a lot of people who buy the books and stuff to add to their collection don't read them. Um, but you have to let me know if you're one that reads them or just buys them to display or like put in a bookshelf. I actually do. Um, that's why I don't have as many as I should. See, there's not many there, but there's a lot of them. Um, to me, it's a lot because I buy them. As I buy it, I have to read it first before I buy another one because if I buy all of them, there's a high chance I won't read all of them. But I buy it, read it, then get the next one. So yes, I do love to read. So yes, here we have Tempest Runner, Convergence, and these, um, the art on the sleeves is awesome. High Republic, Rising Storm. I do pick them up from Barnes & Noble when I have a chance because um, 
as you can see, I have two Rising Storms here because that's the Barnes & Noble exclusive. And then this is the Target exclusive. They do come with posters, which I do not remove. It is still in the book. Here we have High Republic, Light of the Jedi, Battle of Jedi. It's another Target one. Picking them up at Target is also good because they're usually on sale. Another Target, as you can see, there a lot of them are 30% off. Which for like a $30 book, um, $20, $30, 30%, 50% off is a steal. Uh, sorry, Victory's Price, this was 50% off as well. Shadowfall, Alphabet Squadron, Brotherhood, Target. There's literally a Target right next to my job, so I'm always there. Target. <laughs> You'll see that's a running theme. Barnes & Noble. This one I got online. Story of uh, Ventress and Quinlan Boss. The Thrones. Barnes & Noble. This is a Barnes & Noble exclusive version. Uh, this one I think I got online. Thrawn Ascendancy. Target. Yep. Ahsoka. Oops, sorry. This one I think I read like three or four times. Obviously because Ahsoka is my favorite character. But yes. That's a must. If you haven't read the Ahsoka book, you need to. Especially if you're going to watch the series or you're a fan of Clone Wars. I definitely suggest. Um, and down here we have Queen's Hope. Queen's Shadow, Most Wanted. This is a book off the Solo movie. So if you enjoyed that, give that a read. Leia. We have more of the High Republic, Out of the Shadows. Again, Target. Midnight Horizon. That I think I got off Amazon. Uh, Barnes and Noble. And Guardians of the Wills. This, again, this is a story from... Um, uh, oh my god. Rebels. Rebel 1. Oh my god, what am I thinking? Uh, <laughs> Rogue. Rogue 1. So yes. Um, so that's to line them up. I have this little Star Wars sign that I've had for quite some time. It has to light it up because as you can see, it's on this shelf where there's no light. Or maybe I'll put a light there. I don't know yet. But yes, that is the book collection for now. I do have two more books to pick up tomorrow that I will be adding to this collection. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.